I think it's good to show the customer that. Not only because if they're not getting good fuel, if they're getting 16 miles to the gallon like somebody got in this truck when they were testing it, they're going to be complaining to you why they're not getting 20, right? If you don't drive it right, you're not going to get the kind of fuel economy one industry says. But also it's telling people on the other side uh, that this truck can't, couldn't get 24. I drive a lot. I normally get more than my window sticker says I should get on the highway. Okay? Well, what is driving it? Keep it in under 70. You can just let the app Because that's your first course. That's the first course in England. Just stay off it. Drive like you got a. If somebody told me one time, drive like you got an egg under your foot. Mm -hmm. Never hit it hard, never make it work hard. Even, um, you know, one of the little things I do, and I play games sometimes when I'm driving because I'm so bored, um, I don't use cruise control. When I, when I start going up a hill, I kind of just let it go, let it, if, if the miles per hour is going to go down, I let it go down. Once I get to the top of the hill, then it goes back up once I go down. So instead of gunning it, like, or like your, like your cruise control does when you start going up the hill, you know, them RPMs go way up, so that's clicking your fuel economy. Down. So just driving it right, no hard starts, uh, keep your oil changed, uh, keep your air filter changed. Um, you can hit the fuel economy. Now if somebody is driving it right, and and they're driving with like they got an egg on their foot and they're still getting 16, 15, 14 on the highway. So I need to bring that truck in and have somebody take a look at it to make sure the computers are right. Okay. So um, doesn't seem like I've had too many people lately. I don't know if it's because gas is a buck seventy. They've been complaining about fuel economy lately. Okay. I know when gas was 380 or whatever it went up to. I know everybody was talking about. It. I'm only in 17. I'm only getting 18. <coughs> Uh, of course, there's the stars right there, and uh, you don't have to remember what side impact and front impact it's got, and you got it all right there uh, for yourself. Okay, so a quick review. Most powerful pickup on the planet. Yes, we got the 6.2 that's got 403 horsepower. World's only two mode hybrid pickup. Anybody got hybrid trucks in their, in their lot yet? They're coming, they're out there. Uh, same technology as the Tahoe hybrid. What is our what does our hybrid uh, vehicles have? What kind of warranty do they have? Eight year, one hundred. Eight year, hundred thousand. On the converter, on the battery, on the transmission, any of the cable that that haul out of eight hundred thousand dollars warranty. Uh, Second place was the OnStar. Everybody pretty good with OnStar. OnStar they beat it in my head, so I know they probably beat it in your head. Uh, one of the cool things I thought about OnStar, somebody we were talking about the other day. Um, can I get navigation this truck? How much does it cost? Whatever navigation. Can I call all and get turn by turn on this one? How much does that cost me? Uh, yeah, whatever it costs me. Okay. Now, what if, you know, like when I was growing up, uh, mom and dad lived close to home and work, so they didn't really need navigation. However, once a year, for a week, we go up to Arizona and see grandpa. But a customer purchase turn by turn navigation for a month? Yeah. Okay. Hang on, these new, on the new trucks you're buying out, they give you 30 days. Give you 30 days. But let's say, you know what? Uh, you know, I don't ever need navigation except for every July we go to Colorado. Well, call All Star and put turn by turn on it for a month. You know? um, I think that's a pretty cool thing for a customer that goes, man, I'm never going to use navigation except for that one time a year. Place fuel economy, we edge them out. They got 14 and 19 in their, in their, uh, on their 447 little bit up. Still at 14 and 20, so we got a little better through the economy. High safety ratings, you talked about that. Five star, five star, four star rollover. This truck, four wheel drive, four star rollover. Their truck, four wheel drive, three star rollover. Okay, so that little edge there, we got to use every little edge we can. Best coverage in America. We got a five year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. Okay, do they have a longer warranty? Uh, okay. yeah. Well, there are stipulations. All right, there you go. They got a lifetime warranty. Okay. You can't sell it. You can't trade it. You sell it. You trade it. The warranty's over. You can't um, transfer. If I don't, if I don't, uh, if I don't take it in for service every thirty thousand miles, or to Dodge, or Chrysler, whoever, uh, the warranty's over. Okay. So every thirty thousand miles, I got to do something to this. I got to. It costs me something to keep my warranty. Anybody know how many spark plugs that Hemi's got in it? Uh, What's two, eight times two? two? Percent. <laughs> it's a 16. You have to change those every 30,000 miles. Exactly. What does a spark plug cost? Cheap spark eight, plugs are five or six eight, bucks, seven bucks. Um, I, I've been here, those spark plugs are a little bit more expensive, especially if you go to the factory or go to the dealer in the place, okay? So you got to maintain it. If you don't maintain it, it's gone. 
what maintenance do we have to keep up with to keep our 500,000 mile warranty? Oil changes. Oil changes, that's it. Everything else, everything else is fine with us, right? Okay. Spark, we have spark plugs, coolant, everything. 500 for you, that's fine. Spark plugs, you pull and look at them. Those you have to change them at 30,000, okay? Um, now, like you said, just get your oil changed for 999 or whatever it costs. Right. Now, if you uh, don't change your oil in this truck for three years or 50,000 miles, and it blows up, the GM may not cover you on it, it probably ain't going to cover you. So, as long as you keep your oil changed, that's all you really got to do. 999, like you said. Okay? What's the tax come up to? 